Hi everybody and welcome to Bitwig Studio Basics episode 10. Today we're going to talk about Bitwig workflow and best practices and how you can speed up your workflow in Bitwig Studio. My name is Matthias and let's take the tour. Okay, so let's first talk about navigating your project. In Bitwig Studio you can use the middle mouse button anywhere on your arrangement view. You can hold down the middle mouse button and move upwards to zoom in and move downwards to zoom out. Then you can move it right and left to scroll in your arrangement. But fear not, if you don't have a middle mouse button, you can always press the timeline up here and move upwards, the same motions, left, right to scroll your arrangement. And if you have a Wacom that is touch enabled or touch sensitive, like this Wacom Intuos Pro, uh, there's a link in the description to all these tools that I use in the videos, that you can use the pinching to zoom in and out in your project and two fingers to scroll. So that's quite handy. And with the pen here, I can also use the middle mouse button. It's the upper button here, which I can use to zoom in and out. Yeah, scroll. The good thing about using the middle mouse button is that you can be here in the arrangement view and do your edits. Just move around some clips in here and also scroll and zoom in and out in your arrangement at the same time without going up here to the timeline. Okay, so let's talk about keyboard shortcuts. There are some important shortcuts in Bitwig Studio that I think you should really learn because they can speed up your workflow. If you look at the bottom line here, we have a little bar, the toolbar, which says Arrange, Mix and Edit. If we press Tab on our keyboard, we will move between Arrangement and Mix. But if we press Shift and Tab, it will move us from Arrangement view, if we currently are in the Arrangement view, to the Edit mode. So if we select uh, this track, this Zebra track, with this uh, MIDI clip and press Shift Tab, it will take us to the edit mode of that, uh, of that track. And Shift Tab to go back. But keep in mind that if you are in the Mix window, it will bring you between the Mix window and the Edit window. Like this. So that's a very important uh, key combination there. Then we also have some other Edit tabs here. We have the Edit tab. We have the Automation Edit tab, and we have a Device panel, which will bring up and down your Device panel. And we also have the Mix panel, which we can bring up down here. So what are the key commands for these? Well, we have the first one, the Editor panel. It's uh, E on your keyboard. Then we can press A to go into Automation Edit, which will bring up the Track Automation. You can also watch Clip Automation. Then we have the device, which is D, to bring up the device panel. And then finally we have the M to go to the mixer. So these are quite handy to, to know. Then at the right side here, let's uh, make this window a little bit smaller. We have uh, the show browser panel, so we can hide our browser. We also have the product panel, which shows the information about our project. We can set the title artist, etc. And we have the files, which are the files uh, used in this project, the samples. We can also watch the plugins that are used in this project, and if there's any version conflict. Then we have the I.O., the Studio I.O., where you can set up your speakers, if you have a different speaker setups. Then we have this mapping, where you can actually map different uh, parameters of a Bitwig to, to a controller. So we can maybe map uh, this uh, on-off, and I move a knob on the keyboard here. And now we can effectively turn on and off this uh, turbo delay with a knob. So that's quite handy also to know this, uh, this mapping window. Let's remove that controller and go back to our browser view. And while we are talking about the browser, let's go to this Wooten track and press B on our keyboard. It will bring up a big browser window in Bitwing. So that's also very handy to bring up the B. You can see it's uh, connected to this uh, slot in the device chain, so if we add something, say an amp here, it will be added to the device chain in this Votan track. Let's remove that again and press the B to bring up our browser. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about organization, because with organization you will also speed up your workflow. In the browser you have something called uh, Smart Collections, and that's a great way to organize your plugins. To create a Smart Collection you right-click in this uh, collection area, create new collection, my reverbs. 
then you just fill this collection with your favorite plugins. Let's go in here and see if we can find the Valhalla room, say. And let's move this one. We just drag it to my reverbs and now it will be added to this smart collection. So the next time we want to add an effect, press B here and we can go to our... We have to be in any device type and devices. We can go to my reverbs. My reverbs here and here we have the Valhalla room. So we can instantly find it and add it to our track. But also keep in mind that when you are here in the browser, in the devices, you always have to make sure that you have this any device type selected or the correct tab here. Because if you have note effects selected, you can see that uh, all these smart collection folders will be empty. That's because I don't have any note effect um, uh, plugins added to any of these collections. Well, we have in this mod actually, the step mod. But to view all the devices here, be sure to select any device type and you will see that reverb again. And if you accidentally move the wrong effect into your smart collection, you can always remove them by right clicking on them and go to add to and be sure to deselect that uh, smart collection and now it will be removed. So use smart collections to organize your devices. We can do the same thing with samples. Let's go into samples. Here we have favorites and that's uh, some of these uh, samples that I have star marked or marked as favorites. But we should also keep in mind that if you go back here to uh, to our regular mini browser that we always have on the right side here. You can hide it and show it with this little icon down here. Keep in mind that there's no favorites uh, tab in the in the right side browser here. If you want to find your favorites, you have to go into the big browser. This uh, larger browser window. Here you have your brow your favorites. So that's quite important to, to know if you want to find your samples, your favorite samples. Let's quickly talk about the piano roll and how the quantize works. Down to the right here you have your quantize for your piano roll view. So if we set this to 8 notes, we can see that uh, these grid lines effectively shows the 8 notes. Let's set it back to 16. Now if we would go in here and press Q, it will quantize but it will not quantize according to this grid selection. It will quantize to a separate grid setting. And to access that specific uh, grid setting, you have to press Alt and Q. Select this and press Alt and Q. And this will show us uh, our key command quantize setting. So if we want to quantize these to triplets, you have to set triplets here and press OK. And now it will effectively quantize according to triplets. We can go in here and look at trials and we can see that it quantized to, to the triplets here. So I think it's important to know the difference between this uh, view grid setting, which is for moving around the notes and uh, having them stick to the grid, and the grid setting for the key command, which is Q. So you press Alt Q to bring up this grid setting. So that's quantizing. Then we also have velocity for our uh, notes and we can go in here and press this little button which will bring up a graph here we can set the mean which is the offset of the velocity we can spread out the velocity and we can also introduce chaos which will randomize the velocity for all, all these uh, notes okay so i hope you like these little tips on speeding up your workflow and uh, getting to know the shortcuts of the bitwig studio if you have any questions please shoot them in the comment section below Please check out the links in the description because there's links to my Discord channel, Twitter, Instagram, etc. If you want to get to know me better. I just want to say thank you to my patrons who support these videos and to all the new people who join the Discord channel. Thanks for watching today and see you in the next video. Poof.